Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Joel. Today we're gonna to be doing an insane painting on this artist's loft 16 by 20 inch gallery wrap number three. Let's do it. Alrighty. So, my background color is gonna be artist's loft soft body black mixed with American flow trawl. Two and a half parts flow trawl, one part paint. Here's my American flow trawl. My swipe color today is also Artist Loft Soft Body Black, but I mix that with Australian flow trawl, a one and a half parts Australian flow trawl to one part paint. Now the colors I'm using today are going to be the same colors that I used in the last painting, number 56. The difference in today's painting is the way that I lay the paint out. So here's my iridescent violet and my iridescent blue. It's hard to tell, they look white until they dry and then they're like a transparent iridescent color. It's really awesome. I'm hoping to get some good lacing with the iridescent colors today. I'm also using this deep magenta. These are all Ready to pour by Artist Sloth. Got this pretty copper. In these ready to pour paints, I mix with American Flow Troll about one to one. The turquoise blue. And last but not least, is magenta. So today I'm going to be putting, not covering up the canvas with my black paint totally. I'm just going to put a big rectangle of black paint with American flow troll. This is not the swipe color. In the center of the canvas. We'll get that smoothed out, and then I'll be putting the other colors on top of the black. Then I'll be coloring, excuse me, covering up the colors with more black, and then we do the swiping. Step is to get your torch out and pop the bubbles, just the big ones. You know, don't go crazy; it's no big deal. We'll be doing that again later. So now I'm going to take my colors. I'm going to start with this magenta. Now later I'm going to take this magenta, and I'm going to put some Australian flow troll in it, and we'll be adding that to the swipe. I'll show you later. It's pretty cool. I'm just going to do a nice path, a patch of uh, magenta. Then we're going to go for the cobalt blue. And then the deep magenta. So I'm mixing up the pattern that I'm doing this from the last painting. Other than that, they're almost identical, but they end up looking a lot different, as you'll see. So here's my iridescent violet. And we're just going to put some of this iridescent paint down the sides here, maybe a couple strings in the middle, just to be sure. Now, after reviewing this footage, I realized that I never did use the iridescent blue. Whoopsie. <laughs> That's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take my leftover black that I had, which is the same as the pillow paint, and I'm gonna cover up the majority of this color 
and iridescent violet with the black. All right, I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit. And now what I'm doing is I'm adding some Australian float trawl to a couple of the colors that I'm going to be adding to the swipe. So the swipe is going to be primarily black, but I've added some Australian flow trawl into this deep magenta and into the regular magenta. Then I'm going to take my palette knife. I'm going to apply some black swipe paint to it. And then I'm going to take some of each of those two colors and add it to the black. So you can see how I'm loading this palette knife up. And we're ready for our first swipe. Put the colors right on top of each other this time. Swipe number two. So I'm seeing some good cell action from swipe number one. That copper really creates a lot of cells and breaks up and uh, really provides some nice effects. So I grabbed a uh, small palette knife, nice and pointy one, and I'm going to drag some of these colors around and uh, see if I can come up with some cool patterns, kind of integrate the different sections together. I can also uh, increase certain colors by dragging them out farther or the other way around. I could cover them up with black. But this is just the uh, little improv here. I usually spend quite a bit of time doing these uh, on these swipes. It really helps out a lot. So I'm going to speed this up a bit because it gets kind of lengthy. And I'll get back to you when we stretch the image out. All 
right, I'm done with my embellishing. I'm just going to start tipping the paint. See how it's moving. Try not to lose anything off the edge that I want to keep. I'm going for one corner first. Now I'm going to stop it, spin it around, and go the opposite corner. Now I move my paint back to center before I go to the next corner. I'm going to try to hang on to some of that pinkish looking red, even if it's just a little blip, and then I can stretch it back out. You can see it's just about to go out the corner now. And I saved it. All right, I'm going to speed this last part up a little bit, stretching this image out. And then uh, I'm going to start touching up my corners and my edges. Just grab some paint from right underneath where that color is missing and apply it with your finger. Lots of it, and it will run off, and you'll never know. Okay, so we about got it ready to go. Gonna zoom in here and take a look at this, see what you guys think. I'm just gonna do one pass underneath the edge. Take my torch one more time. Check it for bubbles, and we're ready for a close-up. It has some amazingly intricate patterns in there. I'm really happy with it. It's crazy. You can see the uh, iridescent violet. Some crazy copper lacing there. Super cool combination. I like the copper, it's encapsulated the uh, turquoise blue in a few of those cells. It's, it's pretty awesome, I mean the whole thing. It's rare for me, usually <laughs> they have two or three cool things going on. But this thing is pretty much the whole thing, so I'm happy. I hope you guys liked it. Here's the finished product. If you did like it, please like subscribe and share ring that bell i've never had anybody ring my bell before i don't think anyway here's a couple wall shots i hope you guys have a fantastic week and i'll talk to you real soon thanks again for tuning in bye now